lift your head up a little bit. I own my own photography business, which is my passion. I was raised in Israel, but then when I was eight years old, we moved here. We do the holidays, we do go to temple. So we're Orthodox, but we don't dress it, obviously. That's I literally so funny. get my way in that dress. It's easy to manipulate guys. Just like lie to their face and just like send them out the door. I know that I will win the half a million dollars because Victoria gets what Victoria wants. You're so cute! Hi, I'm Frankie! Frankie! Oh so right when I walk into the house, I see this guy and he has pink hair, which is perfect. And I'm wearing a pink dress and obviously pink is my favorite color. I'm Victoria, I'm 22, and I'm from Miami, Florida. Looking around, there are cute girls here. I mean, they have the cute little bodies, and they have cute little faces, but honestly, who are we kidding? I am the hottest one here. I'm so into like Judaism, like my religion, and like we're raised like do good and do good will come to you. Are you Jewish? Yeah. Well, that because I, you know, growing but up in I South Florida, like the, I had so yeah. many Jewish friends. Me and Frankie just click. I mean, he's just amazing. We just have the best time together. Have you seen the Beehive? We're the Beehive. I don't know if I'm getting a bedroom. Depends on what this whole HOH situation is. I feel like it's different now. Why not? Oh. Why don't you win HOH and then uh, we'll have a bedroom together? <laughs> I know. I don't even know if it's the same competition. Game, yeah. You think it's the same I one? I think it's the same one. You have to get Hopefully. up there. I really like Frankie and I do want to work with him. I think that we can get really far in this game together. And I feel like it would be great if it's someone that I want to work with. Yeah, I'm ready to compete. Being on the spit is horrible and, and I'm literally about to faint. I'm too pretty to black out. Victoria, you got it. Oh, you did great, Victoria. You did great, girl. The first house guest that I've nominated is... This was one of the most difficult decisions that I've ever had to come up against. But I just put up the first two people that fell in the second HOH competition. I am so, so sorry, but this is what I've chosen to do because I thought it was fair. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. The first night that we stepped into this house, Frankie pulled me aside and told me we're working together and I love you and I need you in this game and da 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 da. You're right. Shove that you know what and you know where. Every, everyone is great in here. All of us are awesome. I'm good. I just, I'm fine. I just don't want you to feel bad. So. I know. It's not happening. Mm. Well, I mean, I'm gonna fight my own self, but. No, it's not gonna happen. This is the game, so whatever. I just didn't think it would come from you. I, 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 and that's what broke my heart. That's what breaks like if my Caleb heart. Like, if would have done it, it would have been a great Yeah, but he, he nominated first. If Paola was still in the box when I got the box, I would never. with me in this house for the entire run. There's no question. It just goes to show me what kind of person he is and I would never, I'm never going to trust him in this game. And I'm going to kick ass in that competition and then he's going to be the one shocked and crying. It's so hard. I'm so sorry. It's so important for me to win this competition. They call me a prissy princess around the house. I really need to prove that I am a strong competitor. Princess knows how to swing. We're losing each other. Me and Brittany started to get out of sync, and the blue team was catching up, so it was really hard to keep the momentum going. Back, forward. 
They're catching up right now. I'm really panicking because I cannot lose this week. I need to ensure my safety and I need to win this competition. Don't look into anybody. Let's focus on yeah, each other. up but guess what we won and it feels amazing to be safe for the week and guess who's not safe now you sucker <laughs> yay i sadly vote to evict joey you are evicted victoria has laid so low her vote is anyone's guess i vote to evict the crazy pow pow you are evicted i happily vote to evict devil devon you are evicted. Shoot. This competition is literally my version of hell. Welcome back to Big Brother. Victoria. <laughs> that girl. I don't have to cuddle with her this week. Everyone gets thrown in bed. We figured it out. Except for the girls. The eating. six girls oh. are in here. Six girls in Who's this room. Victoria? You. No. Uh, <laughs> Why can't they oh, yeah, they sleep with they each other? No, we've been sleeping together since. So, no, me and Brittany are going to sleep in the rock room. We're sleeping in the rock room. Yeah, we're going to sleep. I don't mind. I'll sleep with Victoria. I don't mind it at all. Amber and I are sleeping in the okay, rock room. Okay, I'll sleep there too. Okay, so. There's so you and Christine stairs. can sleep together. Victoria, you can have your own bed oh. and Jacosta can have her bed. Okay. I kind of want to cuddle with you then. And it doesn't matter. I just, I'll, you don't bug me at all, so I'll sleep with you. Wait, what? I don't Victoria, you don't bug me. And yeah, I don't no. think you bug Amber. Go no, it's not. <laughs> Kidding me? Really? You don't bug her? <laughs> oh my goodness. Make me. <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> So what happened was Nicole was like, no, I can't sleep with her. Amber was like, oh, I can't sleep. Oh, really? It's that much of a big deal to sleep with me? Oh my gosh, I would have slept on myself. No. Oh my god, this is hilarious. No one wants to sleep with me in a bed. Who knew? I'm just so hurt by everyone, and I'm honestly over it. I don't trust anyone in this game. People are just like finding the stupidest reasons to like... Oh my god. This is how we have to go out there so there's not thinking that we're okay, I'm gonna use the restroom. Okay. <laughs> I'm just really bummed that I am on the block on the second time. There are so many power moves to make. And the fact that they're nominating me again just makes it almost pathetic. I just didn't think I'd be on the block again in this way. No. One, two, three. Yeah, but you have to step back over here. Hurry. One, no, no, over here. One, two, two. go. Just One, two. I have no more moves to make. Dang it. <laughs> Like, I just feel like I'm alone in this game. Like, I'm alone. Like, no one is gonna have my back. Like, I need to look out for myself and myself only. And mm -hmm. I look so stupid on TV. Mm -hmm. I, lo I look stupid. Like, people are like, people are like, I, I bet you America's laughing right now. I don't trust anyone in this game. People are just talking smack about me and smiling to my face five seconds later. This house is torture. Who does that? People who are on Big Brother. That's pathetic. You're up first. Winning this veto competition is huge. If I don't win it, I might go home. Hopefully the house will start accepting me and seeing me as a competitor instead of just this prissy little girl that just likes to put on makeup. Oh! Yes. Touchdown. Take that, suckers. Oh, soccer. Soccer's not touchdown. Yay. 
You scored a 30. You scored 22. I need to win this final round. The house guests need to know that I'm here to stay and I'm here to win. Oh my God. That'll do it. <laughs> $5,000. Would you like to keep your 5K or trade it for one of the other prizes? Think what's best for your game, Victoria. Don't worry about anything else. Nicole, congrats for 5000 <laughs> The Germitard. Oh. I gotta take the five stack. Are you serious? Doria with the golden power of Nito! I have the veto and I'm safe for the week. I am such a jewelry girl and I love accessories and guess what? I think this is the best accessory I can ever get. This is just amazing! Hey guys, it's time for the veto meeting. I have decided to use the power of veto to save myself. The meeting is adjourned. Imagine you going home before her. That's that's how Brittany feels right now. I happily vote to evict the conniving Brittany. I have got to win this battle of the block because I need to keep myself safe for the rest of the week. And I honestly don't care about anyone else's safety in the house. They don't care about mine, so I'm not gonna care about theirs. Game on. Not this one. Victoria, communicate with Jacosta. Wait, 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 Victoria. This one is bigger. Grab both of them off. Hey, no, Jacosta, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Jacosta, it's fine. Hold on, Jacosta. Hold on, Jacosta, I'm slipping. Okay. Jacosta, I'm slipping. Um, if you draw a house guest choice tomorrow, would you pick me? Mm, if you want me to. What, what are they doing? Are they making out? If I win POV, I will take half the block. Okay. But don't tell anyone. That. Obviously. Yeah, he but to I just wanted to ask. Yes, you. Okay. Okay, hopefully I do do that. Cool. <laughs> Sketchy. All the house guests think that I'm just some princess living in the house, but honestly, I'm a warrior princess. And just in case these losers forgot, I won the veto last week, and guess what, guys? I'm gonna come and do it once again. Clearly, I'm out of this competition. I am a damsel in distress. I am just rooting for my cowboy Hayden to win this veto for me. Hayden wins! First off, I wanna say, I think that I've proven to the house that I am a true competitor. Hayden, I chose you to play on my behalf, so I would really like you to choose the power of veto on me. Thank you. All right, I've chosen to use the power of veto on you. I vote to evict the fakest of them all, Amber. You are evicted. I am very sorry to have nominated you, but your blood has been on many people's hands. So I figured your blood is diluted on mine. I am very sorry. Good luck to each and every one of you. Caleb. Caleb. Okay. I like kind of expected this. We do. And I knew it was coming. Yeah. And I know like we've had like differences or differences in the south, but we ain't really had differences. We just haven't I know. talked a lot. But we 
like right now you're my best friend you're my everything yeah, because we have to be i in those competitions it's all about communication so be super free to give me instructions and do this and do that and i need this because that's all there is in those yeah. and i'm not gonna take any i'm not gonna like freak out i'm ready to win this yeah. so I'm i just want to kill it and yeah. we we'll gotta be best friends right now and yeah. we have to work together to pull ourselves off yeah and hopefully this will make us closer in the game. Yeah, and for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Caleb. I appreciate it. You ready to it. play? Yep. You already know Beast Mode's ready to play. Princess yes. is ready to play. <laughs> All right, we'll play it. Caleb, go fix it now. Caleb, go fix it. Go now. Me and Caleb were working extremely well and we're moving as quickly as possible. But all of a sudden, I see Zach and Jacasta ready to uh, push dominoes down. Caleb, crap. I cannot lose this competition. I have to win to ensure my safety for the week. Now? Hit it. Let's go, Keep let's going. go. Just fix these. Just okay. fix these. Are we good? Push it. Press it. Yeah. Baby. Congratulations, Caleb and Victoria. You have won the Battle of the Block and are now safe this week. Me and Caleb were in Battle of the Block and I'm so excited that I just showed all these jamokes that I'm a strong competitor. One more week for Victoria and the Big Brother house. Adam and Eve, you and your partner will be in paradise wearing two Adam and Eve fig leaf bathing suits for the next 48 hours. Plus, you'll be connected at all times by a fig leaf vine. Did I get my wedges? No. You're gonna be barefooted, both of us. <laughs> For real? Yeah, that's what, what do you think? Moses had shoes, Nikes? <laughs> oh! What's up, everybody? My name is Beast Mode Adam. And I'm Princess Eve. Yeah! Oh! This is the best thing ever! I am dressed in leaves. And I am connected to this nincompoop with more leaves. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Caleb <laughs> <laughs> oh, goes from the overalls to the no rolls. Can we step out real quick and I could just lotion? No, no. Why, Caleb? No, that's why I mean this is going to be hectic just for 48 for a second, hours. Don't you want to lotion yourself before no. you go out? Why? No. Look Adam hot. and Eve in the Bible didn't have lotion. They didn't have Ooh, wedges. They did not have makeup. Yeah. They did not have sparkles why for your you face. Look hot? I look hot without no, all your that. Hair, your skin look, will, looks dry. I have to use the bathroom. Okay, fine. You're tangling on us up. Sorry. Oh god, I swear this is oh. I need some more slack. Well, naked folks. Yeah. What the hell naked folks doing? Freezing. Oh, we're just taking a walk this morning. Can't wait for this 48 hours to be over. Everywhere we go, we have to go together. This is the worst 48 hours of my life. Thanks, Caleb. We are both literally on slop together, so we're starving. We're walking around 95% naked, attached together. What are we doing? And I've done nothing but sit in the bathroom and deal with makeup, lipstick, straightening hair. You have like two hours, and you're gonna do all that again. You are obnoxious. You're rude. You don't let me do whatever I want. Your game. No, no. I think you can give me 10 or 15 minutes on a pull table. Yeah, that would only be fair. No. Yeah. Man. This is fun though, you know? Mm-hmm. How often do you get to dress up like Adam and Eve and be connected with someone? 48 hours on national television. Yeah, and that's on, on nine million people see it, you know? Couldn't have picked a better partner. Isn't that crazy? I have only liked this experience a little bit because we're the first couple that gets to do it. And did I just call us a couple? Wow. We're the first two people that get to do that in this house in this season. She is uh, tremendously Wonderful. annoying. 
And she Beautiful. annoys the crap out of me. Princess Eve, you need to wake your butt up. <laughs> Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> you may stand. Comic books are actually hilarious. I mean, I do have a cute one. My daily life consists of high heels, shopping, and just hanging around with the girls. <laughs> now I have to freaking memorize comic books, jump up on rooftops, and go zip lining. This is so out of my element. <sighs> my arms feel like they're gonna tear off of my body. I'm afraid of heights. I'm scared I'm gonna hurt my knee. Oh, this is a disaster. I'm just trying to switch anything. I feel like this competition is taking forever. I'm over it. I'm over these comic books. Isn't this 35 minutes over yet? This competition is never gonna end. Crap. I'm thankful that time ran out. Good thing I'm safe this week because this competition was the worst. I uh, sadly vote to evict uh, Jocasta. You are evicted. The only person with no ducks so far is Victoria and that is about to change. Hello, Victoria. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I sadly vote to evict my little brother, Hayden. Thank you. You are evicted. Ariana? Yeah. And your sister? Yeah. My sister is Ariana Grande. So, I have been, um... Holy crap! I've been lying the whole game and it's really been bothering me. Wait, so you're just, you're freaking famous. I know. Shoot. Oh my God. I'm gonna kill you. Oh my God. What does this mean for my game? I mean, Frankie, you're using your sister's fame as an escape goat in this game and I don't think it's working. What up? Are we supposed to treat him different now? Why? You're playing a game just like he is. He ain't gonna take you to meet her after this. He might never even talk to you again, regardless of what he says. Hey, is there anything I can do for you? No. You sure? I'm just so stressful. I can't take it. It's so frustrating. I just look so foolish. Well, you can't think like that. Because if you think like that, they're gonna win. It just sucks because it's my sister's birthday. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. If you win the money, you can buy a really nice birthday present. I'm just going to stick with you, and if we can both get to the end, that's all I care about. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's me and you then. You're both playing a game. It's no hard feelings, it's nothing personal. Is he still everyone's target? Yes, and that's what he knew. So this was his last ditch effort to say, hey, hopefully I get some suckers in here who think that I can introduce to them to celebrities and they'll keep me here for longer because he knew everyone was against him. Mm -hmm. I will tell you everything. Me and him had a final two deal. I was in like two alliances with him. This is between you and me. And I'll tell you everything because I trust you that you want to open your mouth. The first week, there was a big alliance. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Four weeks ago, we did another alliance. Me, Derek, Cody, Christine, You don't know about that, you have no idea. We were in an alliance and we still are in an alliance. I told Nicole everything, I now told you everything. There's nothing for me to even tell you. Like, that was my whole game. I'm trying to take all this information in. It's registering, but honestly, I feel extremely betrayed by Derek and my heart is broken right now. This is between you and me. Obviously, just please don't tell Derek. Oh, you don't.
poet there. Oh, yeah. I literally want a bunch of everything that he's gonna see now. I'm gonna throw it in the trash. I feel so stupid. It sucks trusting people <sighs> and then having them make a fool of you, I know. After more than a month, 52 days, Nicole. <sighs> My head's exploding. Thought that it was just me and him, so I'm just really freaking confused and I just like feel alone. I'm so hurt by him. I don't know what to do with that. He's, he's been your best friend this whole game. Best friend, my ass. Making a 5% alliance. That's the best he didn't friend. Make it. I understand this game is about cheating and this and that, he, but. He hasn't betrayed you, Victoria. Yes, he has. Just because he didn't tell you that, that's he, it's, he's just protecting his game. <sighs> and you, and, I, and if he finds out that I told you, I'm. And I... He's had your back. He still has your back. This comes out where the next two people go. I know. Home. Now it's just getting like really. Because Crimey. It's getting. It's getting really dirty. Dirty. A couple things. I'll make it real quick because th this is not what I came here to do. Zach goes. I need to talk to you right now. He says to me, "Listen, there's something you need to know." Nicole just pulled Victoria aside and told a bunch of lies about you to Victoria. And Victoria's upset with you now. No, that's not true. I want everyone to know that if you're going to throw somebody under the bus to me, about me, I'm going to confront Perfect. that person on it. Zach is blaming me for everything he told you, and that's bull crap. I know. Just let me finish. Know. Just let me finish. I know, Nicole. The story is completely untrue. I'm not working in alliance with Zach. Zach is getting called out. I've been nothing but loyal to you. I've been like a big brother to you. He told me that there is an alliance and Christina's involved, so I did feel betrayed completely. Because Zach told you? I can tell you right now, if I was in something that I didn't want people to know about, the last person I would tell would be Zach. Zach, I gotta talk to you. We, we can do it right now, because it's going on up here right now. Actually, why don't you guys come up too? So Making what, it a little bit so, too so much what of a I big said deal. To I didn't even say anything, Zach. I did not say anything to anyone. I got called up in here because you said something to Derek, and that's how everything started. Before that, no one knew anything. She did not come to me. Why were you crying to me? I wasn't. You were crying to me and said, Of course. Derek just cheated on me. He betrayed of me. Of course. But, okay, what do you want me to do about but it? Why would you go and tell Derek that Nicole said lies? I tried. When you told me not to say anything, I said, Okay, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. And that's why I came to you. And I didn't go to him. Right. To him. You told me to keep my mouth shut. And I said, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. And that's why I came to you. And I didn't go to him. But then when you go to him and tell him that, and then he confronts her, of course it's going to get around. Okay. Big brother. The guys are obviously dominating. Nicole might be the next one out this week. And if it continues this way, me and Christine can just pack our bag. I vote to evict the blonde bombshell Nicole. You are evicted. <laughs> yeah, right. I would've been done. I would've been- Come on in. <clears throat> just so you know, we we'll say in front of everybody, we've already talked about it. You're not going on the block. You've been on enough. At all? Nope. Really? <laughs> really? Me and Frankie already agreed to it. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna cry around. For real? Yeah, it's yeah. real. Yes. <laughs> you happy? How do I even get brought up? I just told him right out. I'm like, I'm not putting Victoria up, so if you're not, and I was like, the girl goes on the block every week. She's not my target. I don't want there to be like people coming up to me recommending for her to go up because I'm not putting her up. And he's like, no, I'm not gonna put her up either. I trust Derek, and if he's telling me I'm 100% safe, then I am 100% safe. And one more week for me in the Big Brother house. Just trust me, I got you. You should be happy. You're done. I'm extremely happy. I love you. All right, I love you too. Just stay with me. Good. Thanks. Victoria! Oh! <laughs> I would zing you, but I'm only supposed to zing people that are actually playing the game. Oh! Oh my God! What the heck? My zing didn't even make any sense. Obviously, I'm playing the game. I'm still here. I mean, it's a top eight. What? Oh my gosh. Victoria possibly being a dim bulb. Literally. I'm never gonna get this. I was just getting extremely frustrated because I kept pressing the button 
and the light's not coming on. Do you think I ever wanted to be an electrician? Uh-uh. Victoria's still needing to light a bulb of some kind somewhere. Oh my god. I did her shirt! No! 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 Victoria! It's you! It's you! Victoria, come here. Moving a little fast through the intersection there. Ma'am, hands right here, please. Ma'am, hands right here. Already. Okay. All right. You're all clear. Keep it moving. That was a very quick chatting. More on that a little later in the show. But first. Oh, that's so cute, babe. Is that for me? What would we do without love, you and I? Yeah. I love you. I would be nothing without you. I love you. Zach literally picks on me every chance he gets, and I'm just completely over it. The pink hat that Zach has been wearing all summer is my pink hat, and he borrowed it the first week and just never gave it back. It's time for payback. Christine, Christine, get me a knife, please, now. Don't run with the knife. <laughs> this is my hat, sorry. Yo, did someone take my hat? Who, who took it? Was it Victoria or Christine? Yo, can I have that hat back? Nope. No, you're gonna keep it? It's my hat. All right, we can play those games. There's no games, that's my hat. It's all my right. property. Okay, all right. Let's see how it is. Got a lot of balls, Victoria. I need, a, I need a woman's hat. Victoria, you don't want to give me the hat back? Really? Are you going to wear it? Maybe. You're not going to wear it. You just don't want me to have it, right? If you treat me nice. You're just doing it just to piss me off. Not really. Yeah, you are. I'm not it's stupid. Not I'm not an idiot. You're doing it to piss me off. And you're doing a good job. Zach, it's my item. You're not going to wear it. OK. This is the most satisfying thing that I've done all summer. Sorry, buddy. You went out of your way to piss me off. I need my pink hat. I'm nothing without my pink hat. Victoria cut up Zach's hat, and there's no doubt she'll cut him loose tonight. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict my number one hater, Zach. Thank you. Thanks. You are evicted. I just want to tell you one thing. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Oh, and by the way. I deserve that. Look what I have. <laughs> have fun in jury, Zach. You said in your last plea speech, I dislike all of you strongly, but I can't stand or I hate one of you. Yeah. Who are you referring to? Oh, Victoria. I want to make that clear. Victoria. <laughs> She stole my pink hat from me, Julie. It was her hat. I know, but she said I can have it, and you know what? No one gives good haircuts in the house. I needed a hat. She took it back from me. She kicked me while I was down, and that's uncalled for. What, truly, what was it about her? Was it really just over the hat? No. It was a, a laundry list of things. <laughs> Care to share any of the uh, things? No. OK. <laughs> I've never thrown a punch, but this doesn't seem too hard. I mean, all I have to do is picture Zach's face on that speed bag. Sorry, Victoria, you've been eliminated. The correct day was 
day 12. Duh, of course I would get eliminated on a question about Joey. I mean, who even remembers her? <laughs> Is it weird if I wear sunglasses inside the house? No. Don't worry about it. It just feels like it makes me less swollen. Look Take less... your sunglasses off. God, I'm nervous. I look swollen. Over the last couple of days, I'm noticing that my wisdom teeth are coming in. I can barely open my mouth to talk. This is stinging, horrible pain, and this completely sucks. What the? Why did that just happen overnight? Hey, wait, hold on. Can you even open your mouth fine enough from the seat? Oh yeah, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Holy balls. That side, you can see it, and that side swollen. Mm -hmm. right Just the bottom two? Mm -hmm. Have your top two started coming in yet? I don't know, they have. Ugh, my face, it's so embarrassing. This is honestly the worst. I feel like I literally gained 50 pounds in my cheek. Victoria. Please go to the diner. Yay. I hope there's a doctor in yeah. there. Can't oh, even yeah. tell. You're just in a lot of pain, but you look great. Her face is <laughs> massive. It's <laughs> jacked. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't think Victoria's gonna be able to compete today. Did you see her? Yep, she was in pain. Hey, beautiful. How's your face? Not good. <gasps> Victoria, are you okay? Do you need something? Oh God, are you okay? Victoria. Victoria. Derek. Yeah. Something. Yeah. We need to get help for Victoria. What? Hey, somebody's got to get in here. Somebody's got to get in here. Get a medic in here. I'm going to pull you out of the bathroom, though, okay? No. You're going to hurt your head. I have a doctor on the way in. I don't have a string. Keep your eyes open, okay? I got you, Victoria. Please don't me up. I don't I, I'm feel not, good there. I'm not, just keep talking, Victoria. Victoria? Victoria, keep hey. talking to me. Victoria. Victoria. We'll be right back. The medic's here, Victoria, okay? Victoria, you here? Victoria? Did you pass out at all? Are you having any uh, trouble breathing? I'm just... 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 I'm Need us for anything else? That's it. Thank you very much. Okay. I appreciate you. Bye, Victoria. We love you, Victoria. We love you. Love you, Victoria. You're in good hands. That'll send a chill down your spine, man. That was crazy. I can't imagine being in this house with that type of pain. Yeah. a little bit better hopefully with eating and with the right medication I should be up and on my feet ready to compete you okay Victoria yeah, yeah I'm good good I sure was worried about Thanks, you Thanks, honey. Oh, okay. you look a lot better are you feeling better yeah I am extremely thankful for everyone who came and helped and was concerned and this just showed me how much my big brother family do care and how much they do love me. Forever! Hey, y'all! <laughs> Obviously, I made it to the top, baby, because I love to wear lingerie. My lingerie and my booby 
Ladies, ooh! A bird! A bird! Get some wing! Planning! I want to see Victoria do another skit. Yeah, I bet you do, Donnie! <laughs> Victoria, first of all, I know you were sick this past week with your wis wisdom teeth growing in. How are you feeling tonight? I'm actually feeling amazing. Thank God Big Brother took an amazing care of me, so I am feeling perfectly fine. Great. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. Victoria, we've been watching you 24-7. You're representing South Florida. We're so proud of you. I love you. I love you. Stay strong. We miss you. Boy, girl, flirt with a plan if you have to. I vote to evict Donnie. You are evicted. Good evening, I'm Julie Chen. Welcome to Big Brother. Crap. This competition is a nightmare. This feels like I'm freaking running up the escalator at the freaking mall. It sucks. I'm literally staying in one place, but my energy is all gone. Wow. Mm. Somebody ate that. Victoria. Um. You're looking beautiful as ever. Halo. It's extremely disappointing that Caleb did not make a huge gay move. He's just a wimp. And I am baffled at how pathetic his speech was. <laughs> Christine, if your strategy is to laugh your way through the end, then the joke's on you. Because you won't be laughing when your butt's on the block. Find out Wednesday at 8, 7, 7. Victoria. You're up. First off, mom, dad, Lauren, Joy, love you so much. Miss you like crazy. Couldn't have done it without you. House guests, I've enjoyed playing this game with you all summer. Unfortunately, I'm sitting next to Nicole, who's an amazing person and a great game player. However, I would love to continue and stay and play the, this game with you guys. Um, with that being said, no hard feelings. Love you guys and wish you the best of luck. Kisses. Thank you, ladies. All right, everyone, it's time for the live voting to begin. You are evicted, which means the answer is false. The bleep that word, as you heard, was kisses, and it also means a big congratulations to Derek. You are the new head of household. Because they want you to go up. It's going to look bad if I don't. It's going to look like I'm protecting you. Christine's a target. She doesn't win the veto. If she does win the veto, Frankie's going home. For sure. Cody and Gail already said it. I promise you, you're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I apologize, Victoria. You know I love you. Please take a seat. Christine, as well, please take a seat. It's nothing personal. Going with the house. Ladies, thank you for taking your places in the nomination chair. <coughs> Victoria? Um, house guests, I just said a couple minutes ago, I really appreciate that you guys voted for me to stay. I really want to continue and play this game with you guys, so please vote for me to stay in this house. Love you guys and wish you the best of luck. No hard feelings. Thank you, ladies. By a vote of three to zero, Christine, you are evicted. Doubting themselves in any way, shape, or form. This was the girl that we should have picked. This wow. is the girl we did pick. And she, she just got she crushed. She must have been crushed. <laughs> yeah. Victoria's down. I want to win this HOH competition so bad, but I don't know if it's worth a broken neck. Oh my god, my ankle. Crap, my ankle. Saying that it might be something really bad, he just made me kind of nervous. So I, now I don't even know if I want to press that button. Hi, no, guys, one, ready? One, two, one, two, two, three. three. So stupid. If my balls wouldn't have dropped, if, I mean, if I wouldn't have slipped. Well, there's nothing you can do about it now, and don't get too upset because honestly, I think that thing in there is going to change the game. Whatever it is, it's real big. It's gonna alter the game. I don't think you'll go home. Honestly, I'm so pumped at this point. Dude, 
We're final five. You're the last girl in Big Brother 16. You could go home tomorrow and you're gonna be the most remembered girl in the house. In a good way. Oh my God, you're the best girl player. You've won first place for the girls. <laughs> Every girl's dream. He's handsome, he's charming, he's a gentleman. There it is, the final four. And Jordan, she's gorgeous. They are the cutest couple, but I'm still wondering why they just walked through that big brother door. No, this is Come a here. joke. Is this a joke? Going into nominations, I'm 99% sure that I'm gonna go up, but I'm gonna take myself off like every other time, or the person that is nominated next to me is gonna be going home. This is my seventh time being nominated, but guess what? I'm still in the Big Brother house, and I'm not going anywhere. If Victoria gets to the final two, I'm voting for her. Like, could you imagine what her no, speech I'm not, I'm would be? No, I'm not even thinking of that. I know. It takes a lot of brain and composure to make it to the top five in Big Brother and be the last girl standing. I played an amazing social game. Victoria, <laughs> you just want to be left alone for a little bit? <sighs> this ground is so <laughs> disgusting. Yeah, and you're laying on it right <laughs> now in your own free will. <laughs> I don't want to throw up. And I'd like to think of myself as the competition princess. <laughs> hey, mm. Derek and I have strategized our way through this house. You don't say anything I know. else. I got you. You just look pretty today. Okay. That's it. You have work to I do. I got it. I got it. I really want to win. Yeah, we'll win. Abby, I'd appreciate that. As your friend and as your alliance member, I'm trying to help you out. No, take him. I'm, I'm very thankful. I'm going to reward his loyalty by taking him to the final two. It's that simple. Yeah. Every superhero needs a sidekick. Luckily, I've had Derek. Oh, you're like the little sister I always wanted. Derek, you're the Robin to my Batman. Can't get rid of me now. Too oh, late. Oh, God. New strategy for playing. Don't play. Make sure you lose everything. And act like you have no clue what's going on the entire time. To make it to the end. I think after next week, she'll be gone. Because she's not beating us. We're guaranteed. Did I hit it? Oh. I'm the last woman standing. I'm on the block and I'm not going home now. Yes. I need to win the veto, secure my safety, and make it to the final four. I know I'm gonna win this competition because I'm a photographer and I notice all the details. Oh my God, damn it. I can't even concentrate. The face is so scary. I cannot even imagine any of the house gates features on this ugly, ugly face. Crap. Let me just tell you something about the human backstabber. I wouldn't be caught dead in that dress. Those eyes, Cody. Was it trying? Frankly, I'm over this con. Mm. Holy crap. 17 minutes and 18 oh seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry, Victoria, but that's not good enough to beat Caleb. Now I'm just crossing my fingers, hoping I can pull some kind of miracle so I could stay one more week in the Big Brother house. This is gonna be hard, but it's not impossible. How many minutes? Yeah, I'm freaking 17. 17 minutes, wow. Ooh. What are you doing? It's starting to cook it, see? We have to take it apart. We're gonna do it? No, no, just, just give it a few more minutes. But Frankie's cooking it. It's okay. <laughs> I thought 
I was the last girl standing. Apparently not. These guys are wimps. Where was it? Right here, dude. Go, go grab me one of them headlamps off the. Let me ask you something. If we, if we set something up, like you know you like. I'm on rat duty with you. We have to be on rat patrol. This is disgusting. I'm not gonna sleep tonight, and I'm petrified. Rat patrol. What's up? Rat patrol. I'm tired. Jake, I'm gonna go to sleep. No, not yet. Wait for me, please. Okay, fine. Thank you. We'll go to sleep at six. Okay. There's no rat to be found. I'm exhausted. It's morning almost. I just want to go to sleep. This is traumatizing. I think I'm gonna call it quit soon. What time is it? Yeah. It's like 6.15. Really? Victoria. First, just wanna say congrats and we top five. And I'm very grateful that I'm the last girl standing, so thank you guys. It's upsetting that I'm still on the block, but I'm not ready to give up. I need to convince these boys that I'm the better person to take to the final four. Tonight, a twist will be revealed, a house guest will be saved, and the game will be rewound. So, how will the actions of the past week alter the future? Welcome to Big Brother. Do you think my heart is gonna stop from all the mayonnaise I eat? Possible. You're supposed to say no, Frankie. As soon as no, you Frankie. leave this house, if you get on a good diet, you'll be fine. I agree. Don't be so down, kid. Don't cry. Don't cry. I love you. Don't be sad. Nothing's, nothing is set in stone. You're a fighter, man. Don't. Don't do that. It didn't hit me until like, no, nah, that's, no. Obviously there's four guys in the house on the last girl standing. Knowing that their mind is already set, their relationship that they build with each other from a long time ago, bros before blank. There's a 0.01% that I could possibly change their vote. Go we'll change up, go get comfortable. Give her hope, right? Some. She could be staying over all of us come Wednesday. It just sucks because there's like nothing I could even say. Go campaign. Nothing to the campaign. There's one guy you can campaign to. Caleb. Going crazy. It just sucks because I don't want to go out like this. It sucks for sure. Think about something. If you leave your jury vote, they think that I have your vote. And so they probably thinking if Derek's not in the final two, Victoria would have to vote for one of us. Yeah. Unless they thought that you wouldn't vote for me. Do you know what we could do? It takes some skill on your part though. Derek, I need to help him get to the final two and I 
will do whatever I can in my power. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. What's up? Derek just told me that he's not voting to keep me and that he's been loyal to the guys. <sighs> yeah. oh, it just sucks, God. Frankie. It does suck. It's terrible. I don't ever want to look at him, talk to him. I don't respect him as a person. I do not like him. <sighs> yeah. I'm just so hurt. I love you so much. It really does suck. I just feel super betrayed. There's nothing that he can say to me that can mend things because I don't even want to talk to him. This is going better than expected. It takes a player to play a player. And guess what, Frankie? The joke's on you. not happy. Is she pissed at me? She feels more hurt by you than by anyone else. All right. Here's what it is. I feel I still feel good about it. Hmm? I still feel okay about it. I don't feel like it is uh, permanent damage. Right, right now I'm just going back, but it is what it is. He totally bought it. She's a beast as a competitor. I'm just really surprised she hasn't won a competition. That's a joke. It's Frankie yeah. versus Derek and who can bring Victoria. That's yep. how it plays yeah. out. <laughs> Victoria, it's your turn. First off, just want to say thank you from, to all my family and friends for all the love and support. Mom, Dad, Lauren, Joey, I love you and I couldn't have done this without you. Yael, I cannot wait to see you. House guests, it's been a pleasure playing this game with you all summer, and I thank you for treating me like the princess I know I am. <laughs> However, in this game, all you have is trust and loyalty. Derek, you have betrayed me, and I will never be able to forgive you for that. For the rest of you guys, love you, good luck, kick some butt, and wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you both. All right, everyone, it is time for the live voting to begin. No. The Big Brother Rewind. This HOH competition is huge, especially for me. I mean, I was almost evicted, but now because of the rewind, I get a second shot in this game. Okay, congratulations, Caleb. You're the new head of household. Woo! There you go, buddy. Nice job. You're in my bed. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. When I thought I was leaving this house, me and Derek come up with a plan to basically make it seem to the rest of the house guests that we are not working together. Derek, you have betrayed me and I will never be able to forgive you for that. But now that I'm still in this house, we have to keep it up. Team Hayden. Victoria's hey, stuff is getting really housed. No! 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 Don't! Don't be an idiot. <laughs> Do I get a kiss? Yeah. Nicole, you've been knocked out. Congratulations, Hayden and Victoria. You beat one five thousand dollars. But today, I'm $5,000 richer. This game is amazing. 
Congratulations! In remembrance of me. Let's all go get a tattoo. In remembrance of you. First off, I really do want to say you really do have a heart of gold. Uh, but to be honest with you, I'm choosing between four hearts that are made of solid gold. You do have a heart of gold. Thanks, Caleb. I'm nominated for the eighth time, but sorry, Frankie. You're going to be walking out that door, and I'm going to make it to the final. <laughs> Two minutes and 21 seconds. No idea. Pow pow! Look at that nose, girl! Crap! I did not finish. I blew another chance to save myself. This is the worst. Okay. Just want to say congrats, Cody, on winning the veto. I do enjoy playing this game with you guys. At this point of the game, I don't expect you to use the veto. Um, but if you do use it, I'd love for you to use it on me. Thanks. House guests, it has been an honor playing this game with you. I have fought very hard to get to this point. I really want to stay to continue fighting. I would really appreci appreciate people for me to stay. Either way, no hard feelings. I love you guys and wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Victoria. You are evicted. Victoria, please try to win something. Gets a point. Step back to the middle, question five. Step back to the middle, last question, everyone. 462 seconds, which means Congratulations to you, Derek. Obviously, you don't have to campaign to me. You know the no, situation. No, I am. Okay, you know but I'm going up. Well, only because you hate me and we have to play up the persona, but it really doesn't matter who goes on the block because ultimately the person who wins the veto is going to decide who goes. This is one huge. of us had to win HOH. If one of us didn't win HOH, there was a good likelihood we were going to be on the block next to each other. One of us was going to go home. This is the only scenario where both of us can be in the final three. I know. I am so glad that this whole act it's working and everything is going according to plan and guess what i'm not going anywhere i think it'd be a good idea to take victoria into the final two because really i think the jury house would look at her as she got carried all the way to the end winning this is huge if i win this power veto i can almost guarantee that me and derek will make it to final two I see the first clue, which is week one, have not, and then the next clue connecting to it is never played a bob. As I put your class's picture, I'm pretty sure I'm doing really well at this competition. Yeah, baby, let's go! There we go. Victoria, for the ninth time. <laughs> Is there anyone left to thank whom you have not thanked already? <laughs> no, this speech is basically going to be to Cody and the house guests, and yeah, I'm good. Go ahead. You Thank have the floor. You. <laughs> First off, just want to say congratulations on making it to Final Four, and I'm very proud to be a part of it. As you guys know, I love this game, and I've loved playing it with you guys all summer. Cody, congratulations on winning the last veto. At the end of the day, you gotta do what's best for your game. If it's keeping me, I would greatly appreciate it. If it's keeping Caleb, I respect that as well. Wish you the best of luck. Either way, no hard feelings, and I love you guys. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you, Julie. You have been evicted. Stay right there. The final three has been determined, and Derek, Cody, and Victoria are headed for finale night. But first, they must face off in the final Final three. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Ladies first. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. Wow. Final three. Final three. And still the last girl. <laughs> still the last girl. Still hanging in there. Loving it. I am in so much pain. I cannot feel my fingers. Good job, my ass. I 
just feel like I lost a golden opportunity to control my own fate in this game. This is the worst feeling in the world. Don't be upset. Victoria, your time is... 30 minutes and three seconds. This means, Derek, you will compete against me in the third part of the final HOH of the summer. Good luck, buddy. This just sucks. Now I have to just hope that Derek will honor the final two deal that we've had since the beginning of the game because there's nothing else I could do at this point. If you're in the final three, you've done something right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Um, Hunter brings up Victoria. No, no, no. It's a whole nother ball. <laughs> Honestly, the girl was on the block nine times. Both times I was on the block, I had complete nervous breakdowns. She's been on the block nine times. That takes strength. Victoria yeah. thinks she's at summer camp. You guys are in the jury house. You're at summer camp. She's playing Big Brother. Right. Oh, right. yikes. I think, I don't think Victoria is very smart, but I do think she is definitely dumbing down uh, her personality in the house. She has moments where she releases this extra bit of smartness. Yeah, she does. She's, she's Never seen it. You know, yeah. she done she, something right or she wouldn't be here. You have to act dumber and survive. Yeah. Guys, it's a strategy. She's not acting dumb, though. I think a little bit. She is dumb. She has no idea she's playing Big Brother. She hasn't won a competition. She couldn't you win You don't have to win things to be the best at Big Brother. Victoria has no chance in winning. I am going to vote for her, because I'm sorry. That would be amazing. If Victoria, win. Dom got you far. No, that means she's win. very smart. I'm going to tell you guys now, if Victoria is in that final two, giving her speech, oh. I'm voting for her. No. Simple as that. Which means, congratulations, Cody. You are the final head of household. It's now up to you to decide whom you would like to evict and whom you want to sit next to when you face the jury later tonight. I'll be back in just a few moments for your decision, Cody. Got to make it to the final two. I'm so sorry, Victoria. You know I love you, okay. but I have to evict you. It's official. Victoria, you are the last person to be evicted from the Big Brother house. Sorry, just walk out. Good luck. Hey, crush it. Crush hey, it. good luck, Amen. guys. Crush your final speeches. Kill it. Congrats Kill to it. the hitman. Kill it. Get Love it. Love you guys. Love you too. Love you too girl. Take it. Go out there and get a big cheer. Keep those doors open. Get it. Get I it, girl. Try. Get it, girl. I don't even want to look. Don't even keep it open. Get it, girl. We did it, man. Woo! You ready for this? Oh you ready for this? God. We're about to get it. I'm not. We're about to get it. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. It's gotta get. It's gotta go black and white, right? Yeah. There it is. Last colored face. <clears throat> Last colored face. Victoria, a lot of people would say you didn't play this game. You floated to the end. Mm. What would you say to those critics? I definitely played this game with my heart. I fought, I have been nominated week after week. I think when people are nominated, as Frankie was, you freak out. No one realized that. I was nominated the first week, and it just kept happening. I fought as hard as I could, and I stayed extremely loyal, didn't throw anyone under the bus, and I am extremely proud of my gameplay. Well, you are the missing piece of the puzzle on the <gasps> jury. We'll see you back here in just moments when you vote for who you think should win, Big cool. Brother. Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria. Um, sorry. Derek, was it your plan all along to remain loyal to the hitmen over me? You know, Victoria, me and you are friends, and I wanted to bring you as far as I could in this game without jeopardizing my own. And I think getting you to the final three, I did that. But as far as the strategic part of this game, Cody was with me on a lot of decisions. And as a friend and an ally, I couldn't betray him and expect the jury to still vote for me in the end if I had that opportunity. But regardless of what happens in this game, you're going to be a friend to me outside this house. Victoria. <coughs> Love you guys both, and I am very proud to be considered the Hitman's little sister. I am voting for the person who has remained loyal to me since day one in this game. Congratulations, Derek. You are the winner of Big Brother. Now, 
You will all be very happy to hear that there is one more prize to hand out tonight, and that is for America's favorite house guest. With more than five million votes, the clear winner is Victoria. <coughs> Yes, you guys want to hear a funny story? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Nicole? I think every time I say something, you laugh. Okay, can I tell you guys a really funny story? Yeah. Is it really funny? Yes. Right. What's that blackbird? The hawk? What? Yeah. The crow. crow? I mean, a crow. Yes. It's a black, huge yes. bird. Okay, so when I was like two years old in Israel, um, I was playing in the beach yeah. and a huge crow came. And I'm took not you away. and took me away, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Shut the fuck up! <laughs> you think I'm lying? No, you okay. are lying! It's not a crow then. It's, it's not a crow. It's gotta be a hog. A crow picked you up and took you away. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>